Ooh, poke him. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am starting a new series where I will be going back to basics. I'm actually going to be rebuilding some of the base lots that came with the original Sims 4 game. So I am starting in the Crick Cabana lot in Willow Creek. And this will be a two bedroom, one bathroom house. I tried to make it kind of shotgun style since the original theme of Willow Creek, I believe is supposed to be based on New Orleans. And I thought that it fit really well. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. Uh, also, sorry that I've been gone for a couple of weeks. My husband and I actually found a stray cat outside of our apartment. So we've been a little bit busy getting things uh, taken care of with him and I am back in full force. So I'll be posting more. And again, this series, I'm going to be focusing on um, redoing Willow Creek first. So this particular house is base game only. So you are able to install it if you don't have any of the other packs, which I thought would be kind of nice because oftentimes I feel like a lot of people like to use different packs, including myself. I posted another starter home that used all of the different packs. And honestly, I feel like that actually makes it a little bit easier because there's a lot of items in the other packs that are a little bit lower in price. Whereas if you're using base game only, it gets a little tricky. I even found that using some of the doors and windows, I'm like, wow, these are kind of pricey. <laughs> but I did stick with that medium wall height because I feel like it fits the style of kind of that shotgun home. So some of those doors and windows are a little bit more expensive. Um, what I ended up doing here was in the front, I have the living room area and that back piece where I have the sliding glass door. I actually end up removing that later on and making it a window because I did not have enough money to make a back porch. Um, but that will be the kitchen. And then I've got two bedrooms here and then a very, what will end up being basic bathroom on the left-hand side there. Um, what I did on the outside was I went for kind of like a teal color and white I will insert a picture of a building that I was kind of going for. I got some inspiration off of this one that I saw on Pinterest. Um, and then also all of the outdoor items like the plants and flowers are all debug because again, I was concerned about money and I'm glad that I started off this way because I wouldn't have had enough if I uh, actually used non debug items in the outside. So I was trying to figure out kind of what I wanted to do on the porch, but I definitely wanted a seating area. And to be honest with you, I probably could have gotten away with doing just one bench, but I really like the symmetrical feeling. And I felt like it seemed kind of realistic that if you had this nice big porch in the front, you'd want to kind of hang out and people watch and whatnot. So find stray cats on your porch like me and my husband, I suppose. But I ended up putting those two um benches out there. And then I did use this new base game wood floor that came with the new high school pack. I thought that it fit kind of like that old historic looking home. Um, a lot of the base game items that are less expensive, I'm like missing all of my favorite pieces by just using base game. But I felt like I did like the way that it ended up coming out because there's a lot of different um, swatches that kind of match that I chose. And I went with like the lighter wood colors, which I thought looked nice. I did try to add in as many clutter pieces as I could, again, without going over that base price of the house. I think in the end, it ends up being um, just under 20,000. It's like 19,700 something simoleons. So it is like really cutting it close. But I did feel like if I left out even one of the clutter items, it just wouldn't look as full and lived in. So that's what I was going for. And I think it turned out rather nice. Um, but I did put two shelves up here, put some little clutter items. Um, I put a bookshelf in here. I did not put a computer in this house because with the two bedrooms, I felt like there wasn't really a necessity to have it. If I did one bedroom, I think I could have gotten away with adding a computer and like maybe an office space instead of that extra bedroom. Um, over here, I feel like it ended up looking a little bit empty, but I was able to get in a mirror and a little plant in the corner there. So it filled the space a little bit for that entryway area. This kitchen that I am working on here, um, I actually end up reconfiguring it just a bit. I make it skinnier. And like I said, I take out that screen door in the back or the sliding door and add a window because I didn't have quite enough money to get <laughs> that taken care of. Um, but it 
ends up pretty much the same in terms of being like a galley kitchen. And I used um, these base game counters um, and I used like the gray swatch. I was kind of going for like a more gray look with this one. Um, and then again, I used this table and then um, they have less expensive chairs that I could have used, but I like these more. I just feel like it feels a little bit more homey than scraping money and saving on that and adding in a back porch. So, um, but if you play with this build and you know, your Sims go to work and make a little bit of money, maybe you could create my final vision of having that back porch added. Cause I feel like it would just be so cute. Cause there's like that little, um, Creek in the back. And I feel like that would, that would pull the look together a lot. Um, this second bedroom here, I ended up um, adding that for what I would imagine would just be a child, but obviously you could make that whatever you wanted. So I added some toys in there in the end so that there was something for them to do. Um, and then here I'm kind of reconfiguring that layout of the kitchen and I ended up removing one of the counters. I felt like it was a little bit excessive and it did give me a little bit more wiggle room so that I could um, use a little bit more money. And here's where I kind of start to realize that I'm running out of funds. So I um, also toyed around with adding some brick here, but I didn't feel like it looked right because of the wall height um, unless I was able to like section it out but I didn't feel like that looked quite right either. So I ended up just scrapping it and going back to the original color. Um, and then I just add in some side tables here. I add in a dresser um, to the parents' room as well. Um, and I was figuring you could have two or three Sims here. So like one parent Sim and a child or even just one parent Sim and a child. And um, then in the children's bedroom, again, I made it kind of based on a child Sim, but you could definitely use this for a teen Sim as well. And I went with a pink and blue theme. I put in some clutter items and some toys for them. And I put in a rug that matched as well. It is a little matchy matchy for my taste, but uh, base game items are a little bit limited. So I did what I could with those. Um, and I thought, thought it turned out pretty cute. But if you guys want to let me know any suggestions, you have I am going to do another couple of base game only starter homes so if you'd like to see anything additional just let me know and then I am just wrapping up the landscaping here on the outside and that concludes today's video so I will see you guys in the next one